A little over rotation there. Uh, yeah, welcome to week 10 of the NFL and the ninth episode, Ace is Wild. We only have four regular season games left, guys, um, so make them count, make them count. Playoff run, we got a big bulge in the middle of, uh, of our league. A lot of people still mathematically uh, eligible, I think. I mean, I think pretty much everyone is mathematically still eligible to uh, make the playoffs, so make every week count. Make those trades while you still can. I'm not sure when the trade deadline is. I'll look that up. Maybe I'll put it like right here. Right there. Yes, when I have it. So it should be there now. Um, but uh, yeah, everything's been going pretty well. We have some power rankings to get to, and I'm gonna do this quickly. I'm going out of town again, so I'll see anyone in Orlando this weekend, and uh, maybe we'll get to watch some football together. But, let's get on to the power rankings, honestly. Rankings. 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 I like that. I like that. That's fun. It's always fun. Well, backwards from 12 to 1, just like Casey Kasem, we're going to count them down. And number 12 this week, a new number 12, although he's been there before, Richie McPeak. He was 11 last week. He's dropped this week. Um, and things are looking bleak especially after that uh, A-Rod injury. He was able to secure Seneca Wallace, surprisingly, though, with $0. So um, that was helpful for him to, to nab that backup QB in Green Bay. Number 11, Tyler Vordenberg moving up a spot from 12 last week. Him and Richie did the old flip after Tyler um, got that win and broke the, uh, the big losing streak that he had going on. Um, and he also put up more than 100 points for the first time since week four. So maybe Tyler's building some momentum. I know he's got a couple guys getting uh, back to full health. So who knows, maybe he'll continue to rise. Number 10, Connor McPeak dropping a spot from number nine last week. And um, I, I would think that other than Manning and Walker, sometimes when I look at his roster, I just think, eh. So um, yeah, he's gonna need another big week from Hilton and maybe some other guys to step up. Number nine. Dave Warner. He's moving up a spot from number 10. So him and Dave, uh, Dave and Connor flipped last week. Um, Dave is back to three healthy QBs and also a healthy CJ Spiller. Now, when you pair that with Bush, DeMarco Murray, and Eddie Lacy, that is quite the backfield um, contingent that he has there. So maybe he'll be able to make some moves. Number eight, dropping all the way from number four, is myself, Dave H. Um, I had 100, um, the way I looked this up actually, I have only scored 133 points as my maximum. So even though I'm winning some matchups and I'm pretty consistent, I've said this before, but I just don't have an explosive team. Um, the, the sturdiness of my team is definitely built on my QB combo though, and uh, they are the highest scoring QB combo in the league. Number seven, dropping two spots, Kyle Fallhaber. Um, yes, he put up 168 points in a loss, so I really hate to punish him. It's just the way the numbers worked out this week, and he is four and five, so he has a little hole to dig himself out of. Um, but uh, good news, Andre Johnson really seems to like Case Keenum, so hopefully they can continue to build off of that momentum. Number six, might be the highest he's been all year. I'll have to go back and check. Tim, Andrew Penpole, uh, moving up from seven last week. He has put together three wins in a row, and uh, he's starting the Larry Birds of quarterbacks, Glennon and Foles this week against yours truly. Number five, Chris Campbell, dropping from number three last week. He has cobbled together two losses in a row, which is explaining some of his uh, his drop here. But uh, Geo's heating up, and um, he really needs VJAX to bounce back from his worst week of the season last week. Number four, Rob Zirkel, up from number eight last week. We had written this guy off 
and uh, he has put together wins even with this quarterback and injury situation he's been battling. He's back to three starting QBs now. Um, he has Palmer, he has Cutler back this week, and he was able to get Jason Campbell with a big bid last week. So um, hopefully he can kind of keep the ship going now that he stirred it through the worst parts. He is a little weak at running back, so we'll see what happens there. Number three, Alex Quay, moving up from a six spot last week that he dropped a little bit too, but he's been flirting with kind of the top uh, four spots all season, so he's right back at home at number three. Um, he had three players last week throwing touchdowns with uh, Mike James pulling the old uh, Tebow, um, so um, that's always good when you have three people having touchdown passes. It's pretty, pretty interesting. <laughs> um, he has the fourth most points, and that will help a lot when he goes to tiebreaker. He needs to go to a tiebreaker, and right now it's looking like it's going to come down to that in that, uh, that five and four, four and five bunch. Um, even some of the six and threes I have Quay ranked higher than Rob, so you know we'll see. It's gonna there's going to be some tiebreakers. Number two, Paul Sinquena. Yes, it's happened, folks. He lost uh, six wins in a row. That streak's broken, um, and uh, his new streak is one loss. The honeymoon is over. Get it? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I was working on that one all week. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's, uh, his, his team's still strong, and this is his worst showing of the year, I believe. So um, he's just kind of put it all back together, and... And hope Matt Ryan returns to looking like some something like a normal quarterback again. And uh, he'll keep vying for number one. He's at six and three. He's still in good shape. Number one, the new number one. He has just taken the league by storm. He's won four of our weekly highs. Jonathan Pivis moving up for number two last week. Um, and this guy, um, like I said, the last two weeks he's had our high scores by a lot. Um, and he is now 150 total points, about 150 total points ahead of everybody. He's strung together three wins in a row. No reason that, uh, with Paul being dethroned from his win streak, that Jonathan Pimpus is not our number one now. And um, actually, I was able to catch up with him, and he had an official statement to make. So roll that tape. So I just found out that I've ascended to the top spot finally in the power rankings. First thought I have to say about that is it's about time. I don't know what else I had to do to overtake the one and only Fast Fingers Polly. I know his fingers are fast, but his team had no comparison whatsoever. I understand he was getting married, so I didn't I didn't hate on it too much because I love the guy. By the way, sorry I couldn't make a Paul. I'm uh, pretty disappointed, but I know it was a great time. But uh, feels good to be on top where my team belongs. It's been a long, hard journey to gather this elite group of soldiers that we put out there. And um, I feel that we've just, we've just started to uh, skim the top of what we're uh, capable of. And uh, you won't see us slowing down anytime. Expect uh, those 170 points and those weekly wins to keep adding up. I'm out. There it is, you heard it right from the source. Jonathan Pimpus letting us know how it is. Um, speaking of, we're going to move on to our Twitter of the Week. And our Tweet of the Week this week, Jonathan Pimpus, Ace of Spades FF. Will I finally get that number one spot? To which the current number one, Paul Sinquena at the time, said, Pimpus, you deserve to be the king of the hill. However, I don't plan on letting you stay there very long. So, uh, a gracious, gracious loser from Paul, but uh, he's also determined. I like that. Uh, I got one more for you here today as it piqued my interest. Our favorite, XX, Dogbed XX, <laughs> Andrew Tim Penpole says, uh, I more than squeaked the squeaker. Now the seashells are coming for you, Dehaz. And I think he's referring to uh, squeeze out another one uh, as the squeaker. But uh, yeah, he beat him pretty good by about 60 points, 173 to 112. Like I said, it was his third win. Uh, he's turned things around recently, and uh, he's, he's put a target on my back. So we will see how that goes this week, Tim. All right, guys. Um, again, 
got to pop out. Sorry to make it so short, but uh, hopefully you got your fix. Hopefully you will have a good week and weekend and um, enjoy yourselves. I know I will be enjoying myself. I look forward to seeing you all on the digital gridiron. Be sure to tweet at Ace of Spades FF. And until next time, may all your fantasies on the football field come true. Take care, guys.